As we mentioned, the um, launch tonight will be carrying several payloads that are developed by university students from across the country. Those schools include the University of Hawaii, the Kentucky Space Consortium, Auto Sequencer started. Auto Sequencer started. Check step 90. BLC verify T minus two minute limit checks are go. Limit checks are go. Check 91 PCC activate ordinance arm enable. Arm enable. Check 92 PCC arm booster ordinance. Booster arm. Check 93 PCC. Uh, I'm Twyman Clements. I am a space systems engineer with uh, Kentucky Space and served as the program manager for uh, the KWASAT 2 spacecraft uh, since its inception. Uh, the payload on KWASAT 2 is an imager. Uh, the imager, which you'll see here on the top of the spacecraft, will take pictures of the Earth uh, when it's over the northern hemisphere and then over the southern hemisphere it'll actually face out into deep space and, be, and take pictures of star fields. It'll be able to back out its own roll rates and basically how it's moving through space. The spacecraft will be beaconing at 437.405 megahertz. Um, and it'll beacon every 15 seconds. And then when it's over our ground stations over Kentucky, we'll be able to command it, take pictures, download data, everything else. KOS at 2, like a lot of these projects, was really a team effort. The power system was built by Moorhead State, as well as the radios and the antennas. The University of Kentucky was in charge of building really the onboard computer, what we call the CNDH, Command and Data Handling, which included the image processing board and picking the camera and getting that calibrated. Uh, Kentucky Space really managed the, the, the project and helped out with structures, uh, deployment, several other features, as well as the mission management. VM's go for launch. Copy that, VM. Check step 101. T minus 10. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, one ignition. We have vehicle attitude and flight path are nominal. Vehicle has achieved Mach one. We have stage one separation and stage two ignition. Stage three attitude and flight path are as expected. We have confirmed sharing separation. Orbital guidance initiated. Vehicle attitude and performance are nominal. 32 minutes it opens. At 37 minutes, it, this, it turns on the CNDH, the command. That, the CNDH then waits until it sees 50 milliamps from one of the solar panels, or any of the solar panels, because then that way we know that it's open. Tail off. All systems remain within prediction. Woo! Yeah!